facility that we were using was our old fellowship hall and it was just a 40 by 60 space uh, and so we had to tear down our Sunday school classroom, remove all the tables and chairs in order for our kids to be able to have activities in that room and so we were outgrowing it uh, tremendously so we just didn't have enough space to do everything we wanted to do with the kids and our teenagers and it was just a logistics nightmare every time you tried to use it. Well, right now this new space we're using for number of things. Uh, one thing is we're a community church uh, and so we reach out in the community so we wanted to open up this facility uh, during the week uh, to have what they call free ball times where kids in the community can come down here in the afternoons, play basketball, shoot hoops, do whatever we want to do. So we reach out to the community that way. We use it during all of our church activities with our teenagers. We have lock-ins in here, we have movie nights in here. Uh, obviously we're using it for all of our sports activities, uh, for basketball, volleyball, badminton, that we're using it for. Uh, eventually we're going to have a rock climbing wall in here. So it's really just to reach out uh, and minister to our teens and our kids uh, and get them some physical activity in this building, as well as we have classrooms uh, throughout the facility as well. Everybody was blown away with the flooring when they came in and see it, uh, saw the flooring on our dedication uh, Sunday that we dedicated the building in. They were just blown away. Uh, as far as the floor and, and how it responds athletically, everybody is, I've just heard nothing but good news for it. The kids can't really tell the difference between it and the hardwood floors that they play on at their high school. Uh, and so I have noticed that, and a lot of people have noticed, that it's softer on the knees and the feet when kids are playing on their knees and the floor. It's a lot softer on them. They can feel the cushioning in it, and uh, that makes a huge difference. Uh, a lot of times kids are just sitting on the floor around the, the ball park and the ball games, and uh, it's just such much easier on them to do that. So I said we're a part of a community church, so one of our outreaches is to help our whole Gordon County community. And we noticed during some of our recent uh, disasters in the years past that they struggled with having a place to shelter people. Uh, and so we intended from the very beginning when we built the structure that we wanted to use it as a community shelter. And so we've been working with the Gordon County Emergency Management Office. We had them come down last Friday and do a walkthrough with the fire department and the emergency management group. And we're going to be designated as a Gordon County shelter during any kind of emergency where sheltering is needed. So we're going to be able to use this space as dormitories uh, for people to sleep in. We're going to have separation for them. We're actually going to use the volleyball net as one of our separators uh, between the ladies that will be uh, using it as a dormitory. And then, of course, we have a kitchen and we have an eating area. All the eating area and the kitchen also has the same flooring on it as well. So it's really easy on the feet for them as well. And then we'll, we're also going to be using other rooms uh, during their emergency uh, sheltering that we're going to be doing here. They were a godsend. Uh, we, we call it, in, 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 our, in, in the Christian realm, we call that a, a miracle of God, a blessing of God. Uh, without Tarquette, we would have not been able, we would financially would not have been able to build this building, this facility for our youth, and put the flooring down. So our original take on this was flooring was not in the budget. We were just going to have concrete, we were going to either clean it, stain it, do something like that. And so because one of our members here works at Tarquette, uh, he mentioned to us that there might be a possibility to get some flooring at a reduced rate or something from Tarquette. Uh, and as we pursued that through Tarquette Cares, uh, they just came through and donated all of this flooring to the church. So it was a tremendous blessing to us. Uh, to have Tarkett go out and do that as a community response to the community that they have a plant. We have several workers uh, that work in their plant. So I thought it was a fabulous way to for them to reach out to the community and what a blessing has been here. And that blessing extends to everybody that gets to come and see this place.